right, so I know a bunch of you guys are participating in So My Style along with me and everybody else. A few of you have mentioned in the comment section below that you have never uh, participated before. I don't necessarily know if that means you've never done indie patterns, uh, but if you haven't, I have some tips for you guys today on getting your patterns printed and assembled and all of that stuff that you need to do with an indie pattern before you can even start cutting out your fabric. So certainly all of the indie companies have a printable PDF where you can print them all out, trim down your pages, line them all up. You know, I always sucked at that. I could never really get them to go together right. And my opinion is when it comes to sewing, if you have something off, even by an eighth of an inch, that can multiply and become inches if you're not careful. And since I was unable to be super, super accurate with that, I was unhappy with that process from the very beginning. I think that's kind of maybe why I, I just fell into big four patterns because I was so bad at the placing of all of those individual sheets. And then also I found that after I had sewn the pattern and I went to put it away, I just felt like all that tape and paper was very, very cumbersome and just wasn't enjoyable to mess with at the end. So a few years ago, this whole idea of plotting, PDF plotting, just took the sewing community by storm. There is this company called pdfplotting.com where you can send off your uh, PDF patterns and they will print them on large format sheets of paper. It's great, it's convenient, but the website is a little bit tricky to operate and you have to pay for shipping and I don't know. Some things I will just nickel and dime to death. And shipping is one of those things I just, especially because I know I can print it at home and like really take my time and get better at piecing all the pages together. Paying for that shipping was just annoying to me. So when I moved to Charlotte, this is a very long story to get to the point, but <laughs> you're going to love it when I'm done. When I moved to Charlotte, I was like, this is a big city. There has to be somebody who's printing large format here locally. Uh, architectural prints, engineering mock-ups, you know, like there's got to be somebody. So I went on Google, made a lot of really weird phone calls <laughs> where people were like, what are you trying to do? Um, and I finally, finally found a place that prints all of my PDF patterns on one large sheet of paper like so I can run down there whenever I want well during normal business hours and have it printed on the spot and pick it up so there's some of that immediate gratification that's similar to the big four and I don't have to pay for shipping the costs of this are very comparable to PDF plotting you basically pay for the paper so however many sheets your pattern is, is what you pay for. And I, I believe that each of these sheets that I had printed for the um, Courtney bodysuit were like $3 and change a piece. So I got this whole pattern printed for six bucks. And yes, that is an extra cost that you have to consider whenever you're investing in uh, indie patterns. They're already more expensive than the big four, but... To me, this is more accurate, so my garment's gonna turn out better, and it's easier to store afterwards. Um, the paper not having all of the cuts and all the tape and everything just makes it really easy to either roll up or even fold. You can even trace this off on the tracing paper and then have it just like tissue paper. Um, so I wanted to share with you guys that it is possible in your hometowns to find someone that will print it on one big sheet locally. Uh, I will share uh, in the description box who uh, prints mine. They do have a few different offices around the Carolinas, but maybe their website or, you know, seeing kind of what kind of company this is will help you know 
who to look for in your own hometowns. But basically you're looking for someone who does large format printing. And usually it's someone who does architectural prints, engineering blueprints, some company like that that does all of that kind of printing will be able to print these for you. So I hope this little tip is helpful to you guys and it inspires you to maybe try an indie pattern if you haven't before. Um, and if you have, it'll make the process of making the indie patterns a little more enjoyable. But that is going to do it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye.